In today's lesson, we're going to review finding the main idea. The main idea is what the entire text is about. It's what all the other ideas support. The main idea is often the first sentence in a paragraph. For example, this one here, we have three dogs. The largest is Trixie, a black and white bird dog. She weighs 50 pounds and loves to run in the yard. Our medium-sized dog is Livy. She is a white and tan corgi. She weighs 12 pounds. The smallest is our Chihuahua, Sophia. She is white and tan and weighs 4 pounds. So, we have three dogs is the main idea, and all the other sentences that follow support and back up that idea. A common error I often see in middle school or high school is that students get in a hurry and simply start picking the first sentence of every paragraph as the main idea. And sometimes the main idea has been moved or hooks have been added. In this case, a series of automatopias or sounds to represent the dogs has been added at the beginning. These are obviously not the main idea and should not be chosen. Every once in a while, you will see an author throw the main idea to the very end. In this example, it's the same information, but in a different order. Woof, woof, woof. Arf, arf. Yap, yap, yap. Our Trixie is a black and white bird dog. She weighs 50 pounds and loves to run in the yard. Then there's Libby. She's a white and tan corgi. She weighs 12 pounds. And finally, the smallest is our Chihuahua, Sophia. She's white and tan and weighs 4 pounds. Those are our three dogs. And finally, one of the most challenging situations is when the author does not state the main idea at all. It is missing, or it should be understood. So again, the same paragraph. Woof, woof, arf, arf, yap, yap, yap. Our Trixie is a black and white bird dog. She weighs 50 pounds and loves to run the yard. Then there's Libby. She is a white and tan corgi. She weighs 12 pounds. Finally, the smallest is our Chihuahua, Sophia. She is white and tan and weighs 4 pounds. At no time is the main idea stated, although we all understand this is about someone's three dogs. Finally, you should know that main idea is also called the unifying idea, central idea, or thesis of a text. So let's end today with a little practice. Here are four statements. Which one of these would be a main idea statement? Our yellow hens lay, lay green eggs. Our red hens lay brown eggs. Our small white hens lay white eggs. Or different hens lay different colored eggs. If you chose the last sentence, different hens lay different colored eggs, you are absolutely correct. That is a main idea, unifying idea, or thesis statement. And all the rest of them support that main idea. Thanks for your attention today, and by the way, I do have all those hens, and yes, they do lay all those different colored eggs.